so my name is Christina Gonzalez. I'm 26 years old and I'm from Far Rockaway, Queens, and I live in Harlem now with my partner. Yeah, I'm Matthew. I've uh, been in Harlem for eight years and uh, been cop watching for just about two. Looking back at my journals, I realized I've been doing um, cop watch for a while now. I was just watching with my eyes and then taking notes. But um, down at, when Occupy started, everybody was down there filming the cops and that was when I realized that it was legal for me to do that. So I was like, oh, okay, great. And I went and got my tripod and I got my camera and I began filming there. And so I did a lot of filming there. I was arrested for it. My first arrest, which I believe it was for filming, uh, was on September 24th. Um, never got my camera back, never got that footage back, never got my tripod, and I'm still in court for that case today. Um, and then when we started doing um, civil disobedience against stop and frisk, uh, that's really when I, when, when I got into it, like hardcore, and realized, oh wow, we don't just have to record, then we can also put it on YouTube and show the world. White people everywhere, thank you, sir. Thank you. 700,000 black and Latino males stopped and frisked every year. Thank you, sir. We could do better. I had never actually been stopped and frisked um, or anything like that. Um, I saw it a little bit, but didn't really know the name of it. Um, and I was kind of just probably like most people in the city thinking, um, oh, that person must have done something wrong. Well, I was a teacher, and I, my students were victims of this. And I saw how it crushed their ability to focus and how it crushed their self-esteem and how it crushed pretty much their souls, I think. But uh, the truth is that didn't that wasn't even enough for me to start cop watching. It was it was after Occupy where I saw people right next to me or in front of me uh, getting abused, like really, really close up. And people who looked an awful lot more like me than my students did. It was sort of a game changer in my life, like there's no no going back from that. And so I tried to fully invest at that point, just film as much as I could. By June, we had done about 20 or so videos, and it just so happened that um, a friend invited us to the 30th Precinct, which is just two blocks from my home. She invited us there for the you know monthly community meeting, and my partner and I walk in and we sit on different sides of the room, and we're about five minutes into the thing, and you know we're just it's. So my neighborhood's being gentrified up in Harlem, and so most of the people who go to that meeting are newcomers, and they want to know how are the police going to like continue to lock down the neighborhood, and um, they're asking a lot of questions about like you know the noise and the kids opening the fire hydrants and things like that. Nothing about stop and frisk. And I'm sitting there and I look to my left, and what do I see? A poster of my mugshot, my partner's mugshot our NICID numbers, uh, our home address, and saying that we are professional agitators, that the community should be aware because we're filming police officers and trying to portray them in a bad light. We stood up and we tried to address uh, the meeting and we were told this is not the time and place, um, that has nothing to do with what's happening right now, and nobody really seemed that alarmed by it, except for us, so luckily I went and took a picture and a short video I put that on my, on my Facebook. You just have to be out and see it and do it. And you know, first you're gonna have that fear. And it's gonna feel a little awkward. And it's gonna feel a little intrusive. But you have to do it. I'll come up and look that person in the eye and say, "Are you okay? Hey, sister, you okay? Hey, brother, you okay?" And then they know that I'm with them. And sometimes I'll ask, "Can I film?" Sometimes I'll just film, and they don't mind. Even afterwards, then you go up and you ask them, like, um, do you want a copy of this video? There's a group of people who are doing this uh, up in the cops' faces uh, with rhetoric that is strong. So that, that exists. That doesn't mean that everybody has to do it like that or that everybody can. That's a, like a matter of privilege in a lot of cases. You can do it from 40 feet back, dead silent, almost averting your eyes. Um, you can do it with no film in your camera or your camera not even turned on, just the gesture. If there's nothing aggressive or... Um, ideological about it, but it's it's just right. It's good citizenship. These cops should know that they could there could always be one of us filming from somewhere, and they have to be on their best behavior. Especially get those undercover officers. You have to get them because we have to put their faces out there so everybody's aware of who they are. Because they can't just continue to walk around here 
um, dressed as nurses. Yeah, I mean, yeah. this is dressed absurd. like us. Like, so get their faces, and as much as you can, get their badge numbers, and put those videos up. Because the more we share, it's just the more it 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 makes it gives other people license to do the same thing. Our YouTube page is under my name, Christina Gonzalez, um, and that's where we're putting all our videos up. And we just hope that you'll find links to other people's videos and that everybody can make their own YouTube page and put their videos up. And even when it seems insignificant, just put it up anyway because you never know who's going to see it and you never know like what it might spark.